uh, people uh, many times have questioned and said, do you really believe that Christianity is a sovereignty under your leader, Jesus Christ? And I always pose back the same kind of questioning back to them and ask them, well, you really believe that Canada exists? I said, for what reason? I said, you know, I'll see signs on the highway. I'll say you're entering Ontario. I said, what is that? Right where the two sticks go on the ground? Is it ahead of it, behind it, on top of it? I mean, I can ask the same kind of, uh, you know, strategy questions, uh, but it's a state of mind of what you believe. And if you're believing in truth, you're definitely believing in the creator because we know things just didn't happen. Um, you know, just as I would debate on people who would argue to me, uh, you really believe that there's a God who created everything? And I go, and you really believe that everything just kind of happened? Just a big bang, it just happened? I said, where did the atmosphere happen? Where the big bang happened? Who created the atmosphere? Where did the atmosphere come from? And we'll keep on going on and on and on. We'll look at a chair and I say, you're really trying to tell me that that chair just happened on its own? There wasn't someone who made it? And then you're telling me that the most complex things I see around me just happen by chance? I said, and you're calling me the fool? But of course, as we know, um, the world of man and its knowledge is foolishness to God. So of course they would believe that you came or try to uh, indoctrinate you in a belief that you came from primates, uh, from apes and evolved from that. Of course, apes don't continue to evolve for some reason. I don't know why. I've gone to zoos and sat there and watched them. They don't seem to change. Go back three weeks later, they're in the same state, but somehow it just all of a sudden stopped. And, uh, of course, these kind of questions drive these kind of, um, I guess maybe they are primates uh, because I'm driving them bananas. And so at this point, uh, uh, I leave it that truth uh, is, to an extent, held within your mind, your temple that God gave you. And therefore, truth being in there is a good state of mind. And therefore, is Christianity a state? That you can stand on as a sovereignty well i go to the dictionary under christianity and i'm again i'm using because i'm talking to a lot of people out of the united states so at times i use this dictionary i can pull this out of an oxford if i needed to uh for those that want me to go down the british way um but i'm using this uh i'm using this uh you know basically because i have a larger audience down in the u.s watching the videos surprisingly uh and it says christianity the definition, the state of being a Christian. I think that's pretty simple. So if you're a Christian, it is the state of being a Christian, and therefore that is the sovereignty, and God needs to be inside your temple here in order for that sovereignty to exist. Now, if you want to believe in the sovereignty of Canada or the United States, then they're going to be inside your temple. as an abomination of satanic thought. Uh, because these nations do not have anything to do with God. And again, I state that, that God is only allowing them to exist. And they only have a very short temporary existence because God's kingdom is promised to come. And we are living in the moments when we're going to see that.